In this video, I'm reviewing six pairs of barefoot shoes. If you like fitness videos or product reviews, conquer and destroy that like button and uh, subscribe for more content just like this. The first pair of shoes are the Vibram Five Finger Shoes. These shoes fit true to size, so I would recommend getting your exact shoe size. And they're as close to barefoot as you can get. Your steps will be faster, your force will be more accurate, and you'll spend more time on your toes and less on your heels. I recommend this shoe for anyone who wants to get as close to barefoot as possible, and for anyone who wants to learn proper walking and running mechanics. If you're gonna be going on long walks, especially on concrete or in the city, then I would not recommend these. The Vivo Barefoot Magna FG shoe. After a few months of wearing these, I've already had the tag in the front rip off and the shoelace has worn out. That's why I would say the quality is good, but not great. I'm a size 11 and a half and I got a 13. These are comfortable, but not ideal for extended walking and definitely not for running. They will start to hurt your feet and your ankles and your knees if you wear them for say more than an hour walking around the city. I recommend this shoe for someone who won't be doing a ton of walking or running and wants a comfortable barefoot shoe. Vivo Barefoot Tracker Decon FG2. Sounds like some military grade stuff. And to be honest with you, the quality is excellent. I'm a size 11 and a half and I got a size 13 in these and I would say it is the perfect size. This is similar to the Magna FG, but they just provide a bit more support and cushion. This is also a great winter shoe because it protects you from snow and rain. I can walk extended periods of time in these and not get any kind of pain or discomfort. Overall, I highly recommend these as a barefoot shoe. I think you would be surprised by the quality and the comfort of this pair of shoe. The Zero Lightweight Running Shoe. I'm size 11 and a half and I got a size 12 and a half, although I wish I would have gotten a 13 because they are still a little bit tight across the toes. They're very comfortable, however, if you're gonna be going on long walks or extended periods of time walking or running, I do not recommend these. Overall, they're comfortable. I got a size bigger, but I wish I would have gotten a size and a half bigger. It's a great shoe for the gym, but definitely not for running or extended periods of walking. The Uncivilized Sneaker. I'm a size 11 and a half, and I got a size 12. I wish I would have gotten a size 13 because they are tight around the toes. Now on their website, they do recommend you get a size or even a size and a half bigger and I would recommend the exact same thing. Overall, if you're gonna be playing sports or walking on concrete for extended periods of time, I would highly recommend these. So finally, it's come to this, the most iconic barefoot shoe, hated by many, loved by many more, the Croc. The quality of this shoe is excellent and I wear them a lot. They have a little bit of wearing around the heel, but nothing that is not expected. I got a size 13 and they fit perfectly for me. So I would definitely recommend getting at least a size bigger. Overall, if you need a slipper or a very comfortable cushiony barefoot shoe, I highly recommend these. To read more about why you should consider getting a pair of barefoot shoes, I recommend reading the book Anatomy for Runners. It goes over the barefoot movement and why it's so critically important that you have a wide toe box barefoot shoe for your health. Now I wanna know from you, do you have a favorite pair of barefoot shoes? Do you have ankle or knee problems and how did you handle that? Leave a comment and share your experiences to let others know. That's it for today, until next time, peace.